Welcome back to Spinning the Past. Today I'm just going to um, do a, a short video on kind of books that uh, people may want to get for, for Christmas or search for them. Uh, this particular video, these this pile of books is going to talk about books that I have collected that are on specialty fibers or um, that are part of my collection. Um, the first one is the Silk Workers Notebook by Cheryl Colander. This is like if you're going to do a lot of silk work, then this is a, the book for you. She goes in all about silk, um, all kinds of techniques on how to spin it for embroidery versus sewing thread versus weaving. This is kind of a, a basic. There we go. Silk Workers Notebook. This is another, Patricia Baines, who um, has written several books on flax and linen, and I'll have a different video just, just on my flax and linen books. So this is a good book. Some of these are going to be hard to find, but that's exactly why I'm showing them to you. Um, this is a member of our guild, uh, Donna Jo Copeland. Uh, she raises lots of English Angora bunnies, so this is a, her book available on her website. You can um, get that, I'm pretty sure, from her. This is another one, um, Carolyn Summerfield, who was in um, Old College Master Spinning Program, and she focuses on these to bend spindles and support spindles, and her book is Spinning Exotic Fibers on Russian and Tibetan Spindles. So if you don't know how to use a Tibetan spindle, I mean, she has them in stock, and you can buy them from her, but this is a good book. Um, for how to work with these support spindles, especially with the exotic fibers. Those are short fibers, and those were commonly uh, spun on these type of spindles. This next one, I um, from so, someone local, Song of the Musk Ox by Kathy Sparks. This book is all about musk ox, which is kibiet, which is, I think, one of the most expensive fibers. Um, so she has this really nice book that she... I think she self-published this um, and she's local here as well so I always like to collect books on on fibers this is a, um, a you know this is just detailed on the musk ox it is part of the exotic fibers collection but um, I always like collecting books on uh, specialty fibers because there are many people out there who are more specialists than I am so I can always learn from them this one is by Chris um, Switzer, Spinning Llama and Alpaca, and, and I have met them at um, SOAR, which was a annual meeting or a convention for hand spinners, and, and I got some from them. And so again, I'm relying on other people who use these fibers all the time um, to get some spinning knowledge from them. And then this one is really cool. I love this, the Icelandic fleece. Icelandic is one of my favorite uh, yarns to work with uh, by Elizabeth Abbott. And I think you can still get this. I think sh this is a, a republish. But anyways, um, this is a an ancient breed fiber. It's a dual coated fiber. You have the um, tog and thel, which are the longer and shorter fibers. And um, so how to spin those together. You can separate those and spin those individually. So um, again, um, I'm reliant on these wonderful hand spinners who have written or self-published these books. So if you, you're looking for something to give someone for the holiday, um, a book, or you want to look to add to your collection for the holiday, these are some that are a mine, small hand spinning collection that... Um, I just thought maybe you should know about. All right, talk to you next time.